Hi everyone, it's Don from Lighting Dash Essentials and I'm uh, showing you some Photoshop tips. This is a shot that's uh, pretty popular on my Flickr account and uh, one of uh, the people there said uh, please show me how to do that. So I'm going to show you how I did this uh, shot with uh, Cassie. I'm going to add a little bit to it. Um, this was taken at the workshop. It's classic glamour lighting with one umbrella and I do workshops every month. You can see my website for more information www.lighting-essentials.com. So let's dive into this image right now. First thing we're going to do is check the uh, levels and uh, check our histogram out here. We're a little narrow over here. We can bring this down. Uh, we're kind of uh, way over here, but there's not a lot of white in this image. And I'm afraid if I come up too much, I'm going to blow uh, these highlights right in here. So I'm just going to bring it up about halfway there. Okay, I can live with that. I'll bring my midtones up just a bit. This is where we were. This is where we ended up after that little move, so looking better. Uh, let's go and do some retouching, shall we? Uh, this eye is just killing me with this hair above it, across it, so I'm going to use my clone tool at darken at 60% because I'm going to be real heavy-handed on this. I just want to get through this right now. I'm going to bring it here, and I'm just going to kill these pixels. Die, die, you pixels. Die, you evil, evil dogs. All right. Okay, you see what I'm doing here? Just killing those that line. If we kill the line, we're not going to see the hair. Oh, that was really not good. So I'm going to move it right here. And we're going to this area right here. I'm going very quickly. Please don't go this quickly on your on your images. Got to finesse them a little more. All right. All right. So let's take it down. All right. Looks like they're gone. That's good. All right. Let's fix some other imperfections here by going to the cloning tool and lighten. And let's come up about this size right here. Oh, that's a little bit too big. Let's take it right to about there. Lighten at 30%. I'm going to grab a little area right around that imperfection and dot it in. Come down, do the same thing with this one. I can make it a little bit bigger by hitting my right bracket key and come down and fix these guys right here. As you can see, just fixing some of these little imperfections. Cassie has great skin. She's a delight to work with. What a wonderful model. And uh, the, everybody at the workshop just fell in love with her. She was just a delight to work with. Just going to lighten these little areas up right here. Be very subtle with it. All right, now you see we've got some little dark circles here under the eyes, so I'm going to be real careful. Uh, make my uh, my my uh, stamp tool a little bit bigger here. I'm going to lower the opacity down to about well down around there, so I can be real real easy with it. When I just tap it in here, I'm just going to lighten just lighten those circles up just a little bit. You see what I'm doing here? Just a little little bit. Just grab here, and lighten. Lighten, lighten, there we go. All right, now we got some shiny, shiny, and shiny. Using the same clone tool, let's go to darken, shall we? Works in reverse. We'll grab a little darker thing, bring it right, grab right there. Just come out there. All, it's, all we're doing is killing those highlights. Just killing the highlights. That's it. Looks pretty clean. Let's take it back. Oh, that looks great. That looks just great. Okay, we're uh, heading down the right track now. I'm going to make a uh, sharpening here. Sharpen, unsharp mask, 200, 0.34. Okay, there we go. There's our sharpen here. And I'm going to save a... Uh, actually, I'm going to... Um, make. I'm going to go ahead and put this into history, shall we? Let's uh, make a new snapshot. Snapshot one. Okay. In this uh, this one here now, I'm going to go ahead and create a uh, layer above it. 
and fill that layer image sorry edit fill 50% gray I'm going to make that a, a uh, an overlay and overlay gives me the ability then to paint on top of it uh, I'm going to use my brush on white normal flow 7% opacity you want to watch what happens here I'm painting with white on overlay and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to lighten up these areas I'm going to create my own highlights in here kind of soften it up just a little bit get a little little light in right here come down in here all right all right that's what we have ended up with here it looks pretty good doesn't it all right I'm going to make another snapshot. Sorry, history. New snapshot, snapshot two. That's just fine. And I'm going to lower the opacity, lower this uh, this layer here. Um, there. And actually, now I'm going to do a new snapshot. Let's just go ahead and do that again. Snapshot. Yeah, we'll make it snapshot three. So if I look at my history up here at the top. I've got snapshot three and that's what I want. I want snapshot three to come back to. Because so I'm going to go to actions now. I'm going to run the Fred Miranda soft focus um, filter or um, action. And you can get that at fredmiranda.com. It's a beautiful action. It does, uh, uh, it does create a very soft picture here. And I'm going to just slide this up just a little bit. You'll have to play with it. It's an inexpensive action. It's only, I don't know, it's less than 20 bucks. It's not much money. So that makes our image really, really nice. Now, it's a little too soft for uh, a lot of people. And uh, obviously the hair got softened and we don't need that. But that's okay because we got a sharp one back here in history. So we take our ha uh, history brush and click on the history palette. And we come down to our image. We're painting from history, which is sharp onto the soft one. So we're painting back all that sharpness. Remember the sharpness that we had? That's great. We're going to come down here and we're just going to paint that back in the hair here. And we're going to paint it in over here. And we're going to come down and look at the dress and we're going to paint a little sharpness back. See those little guys? Let's bring the sharpness back into them. And let's come up a little bit into the eyes and lips with our history brush. Make it small. Let's get the sharpness back in the eyes. And that, uh, let's get this right here, nice and sharp. You can see the hair is nice and sharp. Now we're going to take the opacity of this thing. We're going to lower it down to about 10%. We're going to take that, that history brush. And this is what you can do to taste if you want. If you want to paint back a little bit of texture back into that skin here, you can by painting from history. Just bring back as much as you want. I'm not going to bring back very much here, but I just wanted to show you that. See how you can bring back some of that texture? You can bring it back any way you want to do it. That's what's really nice about photography. Uh, un unfortunately for some people who seem to just want rules on everything, there are no rules. Make it look the way you want it to look. I'm going to bring back just a little more here in the face so it doesn't look too overdone. Notice my opacity, 26%. 15% somewhere around in there so that you can work with it. Okay. Let's lower it down. Take it down. Back up. There's our, there's our picture of Cassie. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and can use some of the information you found here. Have a great day and visit us again at www.lighting-essentials.com.